at this time, I'd like to transition to our uh, first guest, and we're excited to have uh, her joining us from California, but Rachel Sherman is Director of Customer Success at GIF. Rachel, good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're fantastic. How are you? I'm great. Great. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, nice to have you here, and look forward to the GIF team uh, coming to Atlanta next week. Uh, and I had a unique experience to spend time with Molly out there just recently at Health Technology Forum. She did a great job on a panel oh, that we great. conducted. Oh, well, Molly uh, and I will both be out there next week, so looking forward to great. meeting you. Yeah, look forward to seeing you, Rachel. Um, uh, Rachel, uh, give our audience a background on GIF, if you would, and then we'll kind of take a little deeper dive. Absolutely. So GIF is an enterprise health benefits platform. Um, so what we do, we work in the employer space, and what we do is we pull all of a company's health benefits together into one place for them to manage and, a, and one place for employees to access them. Uh, what this does is it allows our, employee, our employers, who are our customers, to deliver beautiful and engaging benefits programs that are personalized at an individual level to an employee's needs. So it says we're, <clears throat> as the goal is to build more plans of choice, uh, and that is on the front side of the employer making sure they're in there, you're taking that those different choices and enabling an employee to see what fits they and their family, correct? Exactly. We're basically serving them up to an employee the, the kind of the right resources at the right time and adding in a bunch of game mechanics so that they actually go in and use those resources. Yeah, that's great. Rachel, this is Brent. When you look out at the uh, the competitive landscape, there's a lot of a lot of players coming into the market. There's probably some some players that have been in the market uh, providing a a similar service, possibly. How is GIF better, different from from other vendors uh, competitors that you may see in the in the marketplace? Yeah, great question. So I think you're absolutely right that the market is growing and we are seeing more people enter, which we actually view as a really good thing. Um, I think there are a few differentiators about GIF. One is that we have very much a marketplace approach. So for our solutions, we partner rather than build, um, allowing our employers and users to kind of leverage the best in the marketplace. I would say the second thing is we really are consumer grade as an application. GIF is a mobile first company. Um, we're based in Palo Alto. We're very design forward. And when you use our products, I think that you can tell that they're built um, to be extremely usable and beautiful. And then the third thing I would say is that we do have an expertise in personal, personalization at the individual employee. So we're not creating a broad strategy for an entire employer benefits program, but instead trying to target um, individual users and employees. Uh, uh, Rachel, uh, how do you work either in conjunction or you know, uh, as a replacement for any of the emerging private exchanges. Are you in partnership with a private exchange if somebody is looking to execute a defined contribution and private exchange model, or do you take that place? Yeah, so we're, we definitely do not compete with private exchanges. A couple of our customers are moving towards the private exchange model, and I think that it works very – there's a lot of corollaries between what GIF does and what the private exchange does, which is basically um, make employees more of consumers. So I think mm -hmm. that both the exchanges and GIF, the message to employees is – Here's what you know. Here are some goals, and here are multiple. You know, we're investing in your health, and here are multiple ways that you can choose what to work on and how, and make decisions. You know, make active decisions about your health care. So, with the GIF product, um, many employers are letting employees earn um, incentive dollars. So, whether that's premium reductions, whether that's contributions into a health savings account or a flexible spending account, um, in, in the user is able to look at the marketplace and decide how they want to earn their incentive dollars or wellness and, dollars. And, and, and you uh, help implement the distribution of those incentives, correct? So yes, if, if it's absolutely. A, that's excellent. Okay. Hey, Rachel's Ron Bachman here. The idea of incentives is so critical, we find, in uh, healthcare consumerism, the information and incentives to really change people's um, uh, behaviors and, and uh, purchasing 
uh, decisions on health and health care. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're finding with those uh, targeted incentive programs you have? Uh, are there particular trends? Are there particular approaches that are becoming more popular? Is it geographic in the way people do it? Uh, tell us a little bit about what your uh, overview is of the incentive programs that you allow. Yeah, absolutely. So the way that our incentive programs work is um, we work with employers to customize a um, a, pro, a, a, pro, a program which includes multiple different categories. And then the employees can choose or be directed to participate in certain categories to earn their incentives. So a category could be um, something very wellnessy, like activity tracking, where you're earning incentives for taking steps or meeting a step goal every day. Or it could be a little bit more on the clinical side, like telemedicine, where you're earning incentives for engaging with a telemedicine program that you're our employer offers. In terms of our learnings, I think that we have some principles that we've kind of tried to adhere by and that we think work really well. Um, one of them is just keeping it really simple, right? So if you're using our incentives program, your incentives are front and center. You can see every day kind of what you're earning towards your goal and how you're earning it. Um, we believe in rewarding people for at, at, at the very granular level. So it's not a year-end goal. It's every day or every hour there are things you can do where you can earn. So whether it's um, hitting a step goal on uh, every day or whether it's jumping into the app and answering a question of the day about your health and wellness. Um, you know, I think that giving people a small amount of information at one time, kind of just-in-time information, is one of our principles that helps a lot with creating a simple and streamlined incentives program. Is there one um, type of incentive that you find is most popular? That's a good question. We actually, so there's the more traditional incentives that I mentioned before, kind of healthcare, like premium reductions, HSA. I think those are very popular for employers, but maybe not as much for employees. Um, employees actually really, really love sweepstakes models, and employers like them as well because they're very budget effective. So this is where you know you're earning points, and then our program has a our app has a reward center where you can redeem those points, and in um, and you can use those points in the reward center on sweepstakes. So you can buy raffle entries into kind of big ticket prizes, which is a really great marketing tool because as a company you can say, you know, our benefits program is sending somebody to the whatever, um, US Open, but which sounds really incredible and people are gonna get engaged in order for the chance to win it. But from a budget perspective, it's actually, you know, relatively inexpensive to send one employee to to that event. Rachel, this is Brent. I, I just landed on your website, and I want to let our listeners know um, that you can, while we're talking here, go to the GIF website, which is JIFF.com, and I see that you guys uh, across the top uh, closed, you know, $23.5 million Series C funding uh, led by some investors. So congratulations on that. I think that's very key for our listeners to know because, in this whole emerging and changing marketplace, it is it is some, something that an employer needs to know that a company is going to be around to continue to provide solutions. So, when you look at um, you know the employers, what do employers like most about your your products? Is it cost savings? Is it engagement? What's what's the the main selling point for you? Yeah. That's a really good question, and I think you hit the nail on the head. I think it's engagement that drives uh, cost savings, but really, I, the, you know, I work with our customers every day, and really what they're looking for and the reason they love GIF is our approach to engagement really does work, and they see, you know, people who have been in benefits for a long time, I think, have gotten sometimes burned by rolling out programs that are a great value add to their employees, but sometimes they don't have the uptake that people really um, want them to have or expect them to have. And I think that GIF has done a really excellent job um, giving employees an experience that they like and that they engage in. Um, you know, the other reason our customers, you know, the other kind of things I hear from our customers is that, 
we're a very customizable platform. It really is tailor fit for their needs. And we're a very creative team. So, you know, we're able to bring them something that's kind of always evolving and fresh. What are um, what are some of the, you know, the market challenges that that your customers are facing that you guys may be facing in the market right now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that the market is pretty bloated right now in terms of solutions that are available. Um, if you're an if you're trying to design a benefits program, the options are almost literally endless, right? Which I think is a really good thing. We think that these more targeted solutions um, means that there is something out there, probably a few things out there for any one individual user. The problem is, is that that marketplace is very difficult to navigate. Um, and our customers are, you know, struggle to, they, what they want to do is design and offer a thoughtful, coordinated, and comprehensive approach to benefits. But the fragmented market makes it difficult. I mean, really what they want to do at the end of the day is for benefits, their benefits program to feel like a benefit and not like a burden for employees. Um, so I think it's kind of these administrative and technical challenges of managing a fragmented approach that is challenging for our, um, for our customer base. Now, Rachel, with your with your pricing, how does your pricing work uh, when you when you're talking to an employer? What options do they have? Yeah, so our pricing is on a per employee per month basis. So employers pay based on the number of eligible employees they have in their in their employee base, um, and then that what the rate is is determined by the employer size as well as the number of GIF products that they choose to license. So GIF has three different products, and they can um, create a program based on those three products. Now, as we as we look to wrap up this this segment, Rachel, we really appreciate it um, you joining us, and look forward to meeting you next week here in Atlanta. What uh, what do you like most working at GIF? Yeah. So for me, that's an easy question, and I I really like that in my role, I'm able to bring value and recognition to our customers and our stakeholders. I think that um, some, you know, some people, folks who work in benefits don't always, they're, they're kind of unsung heroes at times. And I think that I've seen multiple instances where JIP has been able to kind of shine a light on the tremendous work that they're doing. You know, a recent example is one of our customers we work with, just the benefits department was awarded a, um, a corporate award within their company, and you know they they forwarded some of the reasons why they were awarded this work, and and it basically said you know while Jif has done an amazing job um, increasing health, building awareness, getting everyone you know to be more well and more healthy, it, it's had this um, byproduct of you know serving as the first version of an internal social community at this at this company, which I thought was a really cool thing for the leadership to be saying that GIF has been able to really create a, a community and a healthy community at this company that, you know, prior to GIF didn't, didn't have a platform for that. Now, Rachel, as we, um, so as we wrap up here, let, leave our audience with a couple takeaways on, you know, why they need to consider reaching out to you about your solution. Um, yeah, I would say that it's, um, it, to make your life easier, right? Uh, you know, it's increasingly impossible to manage a, un, a, you know, a fragmented and uncoordinated benefits program. And if you're already spending the money and time and energy to invest in all of these different resources, it's worth in, it's worth investing in a platform that's going to make them those resources available and delightful for their employees to actually use them and see the benefits of them. Well, Rachel, we really appreciate you joining us on the program today. Look forward to meeting you uh, next week here in Atlanta. It's going to be hot, so, uh, okay. <laughs> you know, it's supposed to be 100 degrees, so be prepared. Just fair warning. Okay. The, uh, awesome. Well, uh, we'll see you next week, so thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful weekend out there. Thank you very much. Take care.